by ear, you're having an issue with your hearing. I'm going to take a look, all right? I'm just going to come around you, and I'm going to use a little rotoscope. There's a little button at the bottom. When you press it, it shines a light. I'm going to attach disposable spiculum, like so. And this will allow me to see inside your ear. Okay? Alright, so let's take a look. First, I'm going to examine the outer ear. Just make sure there's no lesions or swelling. Anything out of the ordinary. shouldn't feel a thing, really. Anti-helix. Anti-helical fold. Concha. Concha bowl. Area behind your ears. Little bit swollen. Now we're tender. Mm, okay. Very good. Now I'm going to a peek inside, so I'm going to pull up and out. Okay. Well, I can see there is quite a lot of sodium in your ear canal, and it is obstructing my vision to your tympanic membrane, and that's your eardrum. Okay, so you have quite a bit of serum in there, and it looks like it might be hindering your hearing. Let's take a look at the other side, alright? So I'm just going to come around. Let me take a peek at the outer ear first. Just going to take a peek all around. Nothing should hurt. Tragus. Yes, tragus. Lobule. Scapha. Anti-helical fold. Anti-helix. Contrable. Back of the ear. That looks okay. So let's look inside. Pull up and out and stick them in. What do we have? Okay. So this ear canal looks to be similar to the other one. You do have a bit of excess cerumen in there. That's just a fancy word for earwax. And normally, earwax is very important in helping protect your ears and your hearing. But sometimes, when there's a little bit too much, it can cause a problem. I think that's what we are dealing with here. Nothing to worry about. So I think my best course of action will be to just clear some of that out for you. Easy peasy. So let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. First is a model of the human ear. Over here, we have the outer ear. We have lobule, conchable, concha, tragus, antitragus, all that good stuff. And then over here, is your inner ear. So you have your ear canal, and over there is your tympanic membrane. It's your eardrum. Now this orange stuff represents earwax. And if you have quite a bit of extra earwax that's in danger of becoming impacted, 
Mm -hmm. Come down, come down. So, that's how everything sounds so muffled. What I'm going to do is take some specialized tools and go into the ink mill and just kind of scrape it out. Not all of it, just enough so that you can hear it properly again. Get the wrong height, and by the end, you should feel a lot more comfortable. Okay? Great. Let's get started. I'm going to clean your outer ears so that I can put little drops into your ears. That will help loosen the earwax so that I can clean it out. side. Very good. Now, I put a couple drops into each ear canal. Other side. Okay. Okay, and now we're just going to wait a little bit for those drops to settle in and loosen everything up. So while we wait, I'm going to show you what tools I'll be using. So the main tool I will be using, again, is the otoscope. Now you've already felt that in your ears, so you know that it doesn't hurt. But this time, I'm going to be using two new attachments. When they're clear, I'll show you the ends. They're a little bit different. This one has a little circle at the end that's open, kind of like a hula hoop. And this one has a little circle as well, but it's closed. And it's sort of in the shape of a little tiny spoon. And they're going to help me scrape out earwax and free it up. So, I just attach this. I put on the new attachment of my choice, either one or both of these, and then I press the button, and it lights up, and it allows me to see inside your ear. It's my own little earwax lightsaber. I also have a couple more tools. I also have these tools, which I will be using as well. They're a series of ear picks and tweezers that are meant to go inside your ear canal so that I can scrape and 
pull out your wax. Those are um, these tiny little filler like instruments to pull out the earwax as well. So you shouldn't feel any discomfort. So let's get started because I think we've waited long enough. Okay. Going in there with the rotoscope with the light. shouldn't feel a thing. I might just sound a little bit loud. Because I'm right inside your ear. You can close your eyes if you want to do. Relax. Just need a tweezer. How does that feel? Can you hear me more clearly on this side? Good. Give this side a little break, and we'll do the other side, and then we'll just tidy everything up. So I'm going to move to the other ear. You're gonna feel so much better in no time.
Okay, I'm just gonna start in with the tweezer. Make sure you don't ever try this at home. Only medical professionals should be doing this. Alright, I think we're going to pull out this big piece and this should make you feel a lot better. Okay, you ready? There we go. Let's have a look now. sound a lot better. So before I finish up, I'm just going to do a really quick hearing exam with you. I'm going to put my hands on the sides of your head. One at a time, I'm going to cover an ear. And in the other ear, I'm going to whisper a couple words. I want you to repeat those words back to me. Alright? I'm going to start with your right ear. I'm going to cover it. And repeat the words you're hearing in your left ear back to me. And now the other side. Covering your left ear. Adam. Paradox. good. And now I'm just going to tidy up. Just making sure. Everything looks good. I'm getting rid of any wax on your outer ear. I'm going to use this soft little feather tool. Come in and catch everything on your outer ear. I'm not sticking it in your ear. Just on the outside. All the wax will stick to it.
very soft. Should feel a lot better now. Feels pretty satisfying, right? You can hear again. All that build up. And then the release. And now it's all clear. Okay. Feather dusting time. that you're feeling a lot better now. If you ever have another problem or want to come in for a checkup, I'll always be here for you. Okay. Take care. Bye. we did.